Hello everyone. Today I'm going to discuss a very important topic, DNA replication. DNA replicates in a semi-conservative manner. We all know that DNA is double stranded. So when a DNA replicates, the two DNA that are formed each has one old strand and one new strand. This is how the two DNA will be seen when they are formed. One old strand and one new strand. Same here. DNA replication is an autocatalytic function of DNA. Means it is self-catalyzed. And it occurs in the nucleus during the S phase of the cell cycle. This is the cell cycle which has the G1 stage, S, G2 and the divisional phase. Now G1, S and G2 come under the interface. So it occurs in the synthetic phase of the cell cycle. Before we go to the detail mechanism, I'll start with the requirements. What all are required for the DNA replication? First is DNA template. DNA template is an old strand of DNA upon which the new will be formed. An old strand of DNA upon which the new will be formed is referred as DNA template. Now for the DNA template to be formed, the two strands have to be separated. These two strands, they are separated by helicase enzyme. Helicase enzyme separates the two strands by breaking the hydrogen bonds between the two strands. It separates the two strands by breaking the hydrogen bonds. Topoisomerase helps in relieving strains. Now, DNA is a double stranded helical structure. The two strands are just like a spring entangled into each other. When we try to separate the spring at the upper part, more entanglements can be seen. These are the tensions which are relieved by topoisomerase. How? They create a nick, a break in one strand, uncoils it and then reseals so that the Y-shaped replication fork can be formed. Y-shaped replication fork can be formed. Helicases and topoisomerase are together referred as DNA gyrase in prokaryotes. They are together referred as DNA gyrase in prokaryotes. Single stranded binding proteins. Single stranded binding proteins, they bind to the single stranded DNA to prevent binding of the rejoining of the two strands. Or you can say recoiling of the two strands. Next is primase. Primase is the enzyme required for the formation of RNA primer. Primase is required for the formation of RNA primer. RNA primer is a short strand of RNA formed at the ori. A short strand of RNA 
formed at the Ricori because DNA polymerase which forms the new strand needs a free hydroxyl group at 3 prime end which is provided by RNA primer. Free hydroxyl group is required at the 3 prime end that is provided by the RNA primer. Next are deoxyribonucleoside triphosphate. Now the nucleotides are present in triphosphate form. They serve dual purpose. One, they are required for the formation of the new strand. Without them, the new strand cannot be formed. Two, when they are broken, when they are broken into monophosphates, the energy that is released is used in the formation of hydrogen bonds. The energy that is released used in the formation of hydrogen bonds as all these are high energy compounds. They are high energy compounds. Next pyrophosphatase. Pyrophosphatase help in breaking the triphosphates into monophosphates. They help in breaking the triphosphates into monophosphates so that they can be added into the DNA strand. ATP next is used for the formation of phosphodiester bonds that hold adjacent nucleotides together. Magnesium ion, they are activators of enzymes. Next is polynucleotide ligase that is required for joining of fragments. The main enzyme required for the formation of DNA, the new strand is DNA polymerase also known as Kornberg's enzyme as it was discovered by Kornberg. It is a metalloenzyme and the metal present in it is zinc. DNA polymerase is of three types, DNA polymerase 1, 2 and 3. DNA polymerase 1 shows 5 prime, 3 prime and 3 prime, 5 prime exonuclease activity means capable of removing nucleotides from 5 prime end and 3 prime end and it also has polymerization activity means capable of adding nucleotides. DNA polymerase 1 is used for proofreading and for removal of RNA primer. Next is DNA polymerase 2 which acts only in the absence of DNA polymerase 1. while DNA polymerase 3 is the main enzyme required for the formation of the new strand. It shows 5 prime 3 prime polymerization activity and 3 prime 5 prime exonucleus activity. These were the requirements for the form DNA replication. Now come to the mechanism of DNA replication. First is recognition of ORI. ORI is a short strand of DNA from which replication starts. 
Next is formation of Y-shaped replication fork. This is formed with the help of, as we have already discussed, helicase and topoisomerase enzyme. After the two strands have opened or Y-shaped fork has been formed, next is formation of RNA primer. And RNA primer is formed at the ori in the 5 prime 3 prime direction. After the formation of RNA primer, then comes the main activity that is polymerization activity, which takes place with the help of DNA polymerase 3 by using deoxyribonucleotide triphosphate, sorry, side triphosphate, pyrophosphatase, magnesium ions, and ATP. Pyrophosphatase convert triphosphate into monophosphate nucleotides, magnesium ions as activator, while ATP is used to form phosphodiester bonds. Always polymerization occurs in 5 prime, 3 prime direction. Hence, the 3 prime, 5 prime strand of DNA is the leading strand, while the 5 prime, 3 prime strand of DNA is the lagging strand. Why? Because as soon as the two strands start separating, in the 3 prime, 5 prime strand, the new strand it starts forming immediately and it is formed in a continuous manner. While in the lagging strand, after a short part of DNA has opened, its initiation point or ori is recognized, then a RNA primer is formed and then deoxyribonucleotides are added. Further opening another ori and RNA primer and so on. So this continues till the two strands have separated due to which the new strand is formed in a discontinuous manner. Or you can say they are formed in the form of fragments which were discovered by Okazaki hence they are referred as Okazaki fragments. Okazaki fragments can be seen only in the lagging strand. Next is removal of RNA primer. After the new strand have been formed, proofreading is done by DNA polymerase 1 and it also removes errors if any there are. And last is joining of Okazaki fragments formed in the lagging strand. This is done by your polynucleotide ligase. This picture will clearly show how DNA replication occurs. This is the leading strand and this is the lagging strand. Single stranded binding proteins which prevent them from rejoining. This is the primase enzyme to form RNA primer. DNA polymerase 3 forms the new strand, DNA polymerase 1 does removes the RNA primer and ligase joins the Okazaki fragment. And this is how DNA replication occurs in prokaryotes. Thank you.